The News at 5, I'm Mike Sela. For many of us, the September 11th attacks feel like just yesterday, a day forever etched into our minds. In the coastal empire and low country, several communities coming together to hold remembrances to mark the day. Our Flynn Snyder is live outside the Savannah Fire Headquarters on Oglethorpe Avenue. Flynn, the department had its own ceremony that they held this morning. Yeah, Mike, that's right. Good evening. Firefighters here say they feel connected to all first responders and that the pain of the attacks still is with them more than two decades later. Across Savannah today, several groups holding ceremonies vowing to never forget. The sound of the big Duke alarm bell rang through city streets as firefighters honored first responders on the 22nd anniversary of the September 11th terror attacks. <laughs> Radio calls marking each moment of the day play through the firehouse as crews stood under an American flag, remembering the 343 New York firefighters who died in the attack. We spend more time with our firefighter brethren and, and sisters and uh, than we do with our own families. So it like cuts right straight to our heart when we see someone else doing all they can do because we would do the same thing if the opportunity presented itself. At a meeting of Savannah's Rotary Club, a compelling speech to mark the day. Retired Lieutenant Colonel Ted Anderson spoke with members about being in the Pentagon when American Airlines Flight 77 crashed into the building. The walls caved in, the ceiling came down, lights went out, um, and that giant sucking sound of all of the air going toward the fueling fire what is what I remember. I remember that sound. Club members say Anderson was awarded the Soldier's Medal for Valor after being credited with helping multiple people escape the Pentagon. Uh, the smoke was just overwhelming, and um, uh, but we had the opportunity to bring two or three people out, and um, uh, unfortunately there were people left behind um, that we did not have the opportunity to get to. So. Um, that, that's what sticks with me more than anything. Anderson still struggles with the emotions of the day, but says he wanted to speak so that others would never forget what happened. An idea echoed by Savannah firefighters. Just sort of a constant reminder that of their sacrifice and the sacrifice that we are willing to do here at Savannah. And remembrances for the anniversary kicked off yesterday when the Savannah Fire Department hosted a memorial stair climb at the city's Civic Center. Hundreds came out to climb 110 flights of stairs, symbolizing the efforts of first responders who climbed the World Trade Center 22 years ago today. Reporting live in Savannah, Flint Snyder, WTOC News. A lot of people marking this day by also giving.